all, my name is Greg Robinson, and this is Robinson Horsemanship. Honest, honest to God, if if I didn't have to be paid and make a living doing this, I'd do it for free. I'd, I'd just spend the rest of my life going coast to coast, helping people and horses. It matters that much, and. Uh, I get to be a part of those people's journey and their advancement, and you can't put a price tag on that. It's, it's an awesome feeling. Uh, it's been incredible because he's, he's had something for you no matter what level or skill set you're currently at. Um, Personally, for me, when he first came, I think largely what we were just working on was getting my horse to lope and lope on the right lead because she was very young, she was very green, and it was something we'd struggled on for the longest time. And he had, uh, we got her loping, and after practicing the exercises he had us do, she came pretty solid at getting her leads and headset. She, she always kind of likes to go in a little giraffe place, <laughs> and we managed to fix that uh, the first time he was around. And then the second time I had gotten a second horse and she was cow bred and it was the first time I'd ever ridden anything like that. And it was cool to see how he, he was able to help both my horses. He's got, he knows a little something about everything. And, and I mean, not really just a little something. He's, he's got an exercise for everything or a tip or something. Um, and then this uh, latest clinic, it's been largely on that cow horse because I've got uh, my green horse pretty solid at this point and the cow horse I just really like to get the shows and just fixing potholes for her because she's pretty well broke but she's not like solid on everything. Um, it's getting her more well-rounded and I, I know what to work on now to fix little habits we've picked up. Um, Overall, I'm just I'm pretty impressed with the fact that he can he can, he can cater to every need. Really, he's got something for everything. Uh, by far, he's one of the most personable clinicians I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Um, he really goes the extra mile to make sure you get what you need. Um, often he'll he'll step on other people's horses, which is something not a lot of other people are really willing to do. Um, he's super friendly. He gets to know everybody um, at each clinic. And it's just, I mean, it feels like he's part of the family every time he comes by. Hey friends, Greg Robinson, Greg Robinson Horsemanship. You know, when I'm out on the road doing clinics or uh, when people come here to the ranch to ride with me, they, they're real interested in, in the things I use on a daily basis in the industry. Um, any of my sponsored folks, um, it, this is stuff that I will actually use whether I'm sponsored by them or not. Uh, and I'm very blessed to, to have the people in my corner that I do. Uh, Jill Nelliman from Nixall, um, they've been sponsoring me for years now. Folks, cuts, abrasions, girth itch, any sort of fungus, this is the best stuff out there. I use it, I've used it daily for years. You just can't go wrong with Nixall. Great company. I encourage you to check them out. Uh, as far as my headgear, all of my bits now are made by RT Bit and Spur in Gainesville, Texas. Rod Tusher does a, an amazing job. He builds all the, the GR bits, um, builds my bridle bits for me. You, you just, you can't find a better made bit. The balance, um, craftsmanship is second to none. And it... obviously live in small town USA here. Um, there are not many people in this area that have a youth program the size that we do um, that also try to haul these kids to shows and you know that ride young horses that they start on their own. So 
you know, I feel like our program's successful, but because we are kind of a big fish in a small pond, we don't have anybody to go to locally that can help us. You know, if we get stuck and our backs are against the wall and we don't have the answer to a question, I'm like, I don't have anybody local that we can call and ask for help that does what we do. Um, and ourselves, personally, I mean, we raise some nice young horses every year and we try to show a little bit ourselves. So if we get stuck and don't understand something for ourselves, having a second set of eyes come in and show us what we're doing wrong is extremely helpful. Um, so when we heard about Greg, you know, he sounded like somebody that put horsemanship first and showmanship second. And that was really important to us because, you know, we've, we've stressed to all of our kids and our adults that show with us that, you know, winning is completely secondary to taking the time it takes to get your horse right and preserving the relationship and your horsemanship skills in general. Um, you know, I, I mentioned a lot of our people start their own horses under saddle. Uh, they have bought babies from us and, and started them, you know, from halter breaking them all the way up to their first ride, all the way up to their first show, um, and years further than that and, and having success in the show pen. And so it's a big deal to us that that relationship lasts and that, you know, if they do win something on that horse, they can say, I did this myself with help, but I did it and I didn't make a bunch of mistakes or let somebody blow my horse up. So when we met Greg and realized that he kind of had what we were missing, he was that missing link in our program to help us fill those gaps, it was just, I mean, a lifesaver for us. It, it truly did help us, you know, propel our horsemanship way further along than what we had already done. And we look forward to having him come back every year now, seasonally, really, just to check in on us and, you know, make sure we're on the right track and still doing what we need to be doing. Well, the nice thing about Greg is, is, you know, I can put, you know, even today we had a little 10 year old girl riding with some adults, you know, he meets them where they're at and, and kind of bridges the gap and he makes it possible for them to learn by watching each other as well. You know, um, today in particular, that little 10 year old chose to do her own thing through a set of obstacles that Greg had set up and luckily she's a pretty brave rider. So she chose to do things that seemed kind of mountainous for a small kid, but it gave those adults confidence that they could do it themselves if the 10 year old did. And, you know, it was just really wise on Greg's part that he chose her to go first. I think in some ways he knew that was gonna work out that way because he had taken the time to get to know that kid. And, you know, he really takes the time to get to know his riders and, and you know, figure out what they need and who they need to see go first and who needs to stand there and build up the confidence to go last. And, you know, I just, I admire that about him because he really takes the time to get to know our students. Um, and every one of them has improved greatly from it. And I think that's why the clinic still, I mean, they feel comfortable with him. They feel like he meets them where they're at and he pushes them, but he doesn't push them too much when they're not ready. Mm -hmm.